Hello, I am Miss Jones. I am a third grade teacher at Shady Grove Elementary School, and this is my awesome class. Give yourselves five claps. We are so excited for you guys to be here today. Let's do our massa. Counting sheep when you're trying to sleep, being fair. When there's something to share, be in me. Ooh, when you're folding a sheet, what is it? That's mathematics when a ball Louder. bounces up on a wall. When you cook from a recipe book, when you know how much money you owe, what is it? That's mathematics. Fabulous. Yesterday, we talked about Capacity. What is capacity? Let's wait for a few more hands. What is capacity? Tell your partner what capacity is. Capacity. Share. Capacity. Okay. Awesome. Tracking Miss Jones. Let's go, Miss Jones. Now quiet hands. What is capacity? I heard some great answers over here. What is capacity? Will. It's something that can hold a liquid. Ooh, it's something that can hold a liquid. Let's build on that a little bit. Eva. It's like the liquid volume. Ooh, another word for it is liquid volume. Ethan. It can hold space. Ooh, something that holds space. Avian. Ooh, you measure capacity in gallons, pints, and cups. Anything else? Liquid volume, amount of space. You can measure it with cups, pints, gallons. Excellent. How much space is inside a container? And how much liquid can fit inside a container? Are words for capacity, or how we can describe capacity. Capacity is the amount of space that something takes up. It might be the whole bucket, or it might be the amount of space that the liquid takes up inside of the bucket. That is capacity. What's the word? Capacity. Capacity is how much space is inside a container. Let's all say that. Capacity is how much space is inside a container. Excellent. How can we measure capacity? Avion already got us started. How can we measure capacity? Victoria this time. A measuring cup. She wasn't even here yesterday. She's got it. A measuring cup. What might be some units that are in a measuring cup or on a measuring cup? Sophia. Um. <coughs> Bless you. Um. It, they could be uh, like a um, centimeter, but uh, I mean not like it could be like um, um ounces. Ounces! Good memory from yesterday. What else might be on a measuring cup? Or how else might we measure capacity or liquid volume? Matthew. Uh, sometimes by an ounce. In, in the song. Um, in the song we did yesterday. By a cup. By <gasps> cups times um, and gas. Way to go, Matthew. Let's give Matthew a raise the roof. <laughs> cups. Pints, quarts, and gallons. Do you guys remember how we did our little movement yesterday? Remember this? We had cups, cups, say it, cups, cups pints, pints, quarts, pints, gallons. What was the biggest one? Show me. Gallons. What was the smallest one? Cups. Who remembers what was the unit that was smaller than a cup? What's the unit that was smaller than a cup that we can use? Ethan. Excellent, so teaspoons, absolutely. What's the measurement that we often see on it, Matthew? You said it earlier. Oh, oh, ounces. ounces, excellent. But when we talk about cups, pints, quarts, and gallons, the smallest is a cup, a little bit bigger is a pint, then we have our quart and our gallon, and we had all of those jugs yesterday that we looked at. Here they are on the, the screen as well. Well, today what we're going to do is we are going to compare liquid volumes. We're going to compare the volume of different liquids, 
but also substances that fit into a shape like a liquid. Because remember when we learned about liquids, a liquid takes the shape of the cup that it's in, like a cup, bottle, or metal tin, a liquid shape depends. So in addition to liquids, there are other substances that take the shape of the cup that they're in. Remember how we talked about when we did matter, sand, and rice, and sugar? So we're gonna be measuring and comparing different liquid volumes, but also different capacities today. But to get started, I have five containers right here. Ms. Grossman, will you hand up the sheet for me? What you're going to do is you are going to decide which one of these green liquids has the largest capacity or liquid volume, which is the greatest liquid volume. So when you get your sheet, and I'm going to call you up by nest to take a quick look, you're going to decide which one has the greatest liquid volume. But remember yesterday, we talked about, is liquid volume just the height? No. What were some of the other things you look at when you're thinking about liquid volume or volume in general? Ethan. Good. The width. We had the height. We had the width. The length. Width and the length. Excellent. So we have number one, number two, three, four, and five. Next one. You can come up and take a quick look. Wait, can we do it with our balloons? Nope. Just with your eyes. Quick look, quick look. Okay. You're thinking, which one is the greatest? Which one is the least? Okay. Back to your seats. Nest two, come on up. What do you think? I think it's the uh, Ethan. Uh, So on your sheet, as soon as you've looked, you can go ahead and write down which one you think is the greatest. Back to your seats, nest two. Nest three, come on up. Oh, I love how Mason is writing his name. So which one has the greatest capacity? Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. You're gonna rank them. Thank you, Nest 3 and Nest 4. Come on up. So which one has the greatest capacity? Go ahead and rank them. So whatever number you think is the greatest, you're gonna write that first. Awesome, so go ahead and write the one that you think has the greatest capacity. So if you think number one has the greatest capacity or greatest liquid volume, write one on the top box. If you didn't think number two, then write number two in the top box. If you think number three, write number three in your top box, four or five, and rank them. I'm gonna give us two minutes to rank and then to explain your mathematical thinking. So think about what we've learned about capacity how we think about capacity, the different measurements we can use for capacity, and you're filling out your greatest to least and how you know. Two minutes, begin. What do you think? Why do you think it? We're gonna share with our partners what we thought was the greatest capacity and how we know. I wanna hear math talk like length, width, height. Yesterday we talked about circumference. Capacity. Those are some of the words I want to hear. Length, width, height, circumference, capacity. Share. Okay. What do we think? Absolutely. Excellent. What did you think, Eva? Awesome. What did you think, Mr. McKinney? You also thought number three. Do you agree with Eva? What was something else that you thought about when deciding the greatest capacity? Tracking Miss Jones. Let's go, Miss Jones. 
I heard some great math talk. Who would like to share their thinking? I heard from this side of the room. Matthew. I think it's five because it's bigger and it's what do you mean by bigger? So I, the capacity to show it more. Okay. And um, the um, one, two, and four are long, and I didn't know if it would have gave the um, water would have been as number five. So um, it's number five. Five and three. Great. So you really did some process of elimination there. Excellent. How can we figure out, how can we figure out which one has the greatest capacity or the greatest liquid volume? What could we do to figure that out? Eva. You could dump some of it out into a different jar. Interesting. So I could put them all in a standard jar to see how they compare. That's a great, a great thought. How else could I figure out which one of these has the greatest liquid volume? Ethan. You can Okay, I could write it down, and you're saying, what would I do? I would fill it up to the maximum? Yeah, to the maximum um, height of the, of the cup. What, what would that help me to, how would that help me figure out which one has the most? To see which one, like, the, like, which one has the most. Would I pour the same amount of liquid into each jug? No. Okay. So, Madison, what else could I do? Great thinking. Interesting. So maybe measure the width. Would I also need to measure the height? Um, yeah. yeah. Maybe would I also need to measure the length? Yeah. Okay, so I could look at all three of those measurements. Excellent. And Sophia? You could, um, that measuring jug behind you, you could um, take five of those and pour each of the cups into one of those and then see which one has the most. Excellent. I could use something called a standard unit. I could use a standard unit. You guys are kind of getting at that when you said pour them all into a similar jug or into one jug to see how high they go. That would be a standard unit. That would be a standard jug that I would use. But I could also use my um, customary unit to measure. I could use cups to figure out which one has the most. So that is what we're going to do. Way to go, Sophia. So next to container number one, you are going to write how much this, um, how much liquid volume this is. Gage, come pour this in for me. Quick, quick. Whoa. Great job. Perfect. And let's see how much that is. Ooh. So it's between our number line one and two. What does that mean? It's between one and two. Think about what we know about length, what we know about our number line. What does it mean, Rosemary? It's about one and a half cups. Excellent, one and a half cups. Next to wherever you put container number one, write one and a half cups. One and a half cups. Remember the abbreviation for cups is C. Excellent. Let's see, let's do some pick sticks for this one. Bradley, come pour. Ooh, let me get a funnel for this one. This one's dangerous. Oh, thank you, Mr. Matthew. Oh, I skip number two. We're going straight to number three, guys. You could go on, right? Yeah, so a lot of you thought it was number three. Excellent, Hadley. Hadley, what is this measurement? Four. Yeah. Say it with confidence. Four cups. Turn and tell your class. Four cups. Four cups. What do you think? Is that greater than or less than number one? Greater. Say it loud. What is it? Greater. Next to number three. Right. Four cups. Four cups. Great job. Next up, number two. Oh, no. 
be safe with that. Annalise isn't here. Madison! Come on, girlfriend. Number two. Pour her in. What do you guys think? Greater than or less than four cups? Uh, greater. Less than. Greater? Less than. Less than? Okay. You know the stay. What have we got, Madison? You can wrap up right there. Yep, say it loud and proud. Three cups. Three cups. It's right here at three cups. So I'm using my measuring tool. I'm finding that standard unit, and then I can pour it back into my container. Go on to my next one. Excellent. Number four. Matthew, come on up. Get you did first. Number four. Hmm. What we got? It's between six one, two. one and two. You think it's between or is it pretty close to two? I think the table's just wrapping. Yeah. It's pretty close to two. So what is it? Um, two cups. Two cups. Number four. 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 Oh yeah, this one. Number four is two cups. Excellent. So far, your measurements correct? How are you guys doing? I got this one wrong. Okay. We have one more. Victoria. Come and measure. Excellent. What have we got? Perfect. It's not quite to three and a half, so I would say it's three. Yeah. Three cups. Three cups. I love how proud she said that. Excellent. So this one is a little bit above three, but it's definitely closer to three than to three and a half. So I would agree that it is three cups. Of course. Give me one if you got one of your measurements correct. That means one of them is in the correct spot. Two if two of your measurements are right. Three. Four. This one was three cups and it was number five. I got four. Cups. All five. Did anyone get them? All five? I got them all five. Excellent Wait, job. Those two. Great work, guys. So, standard units help us to compare, help us to compare different liquid volumes. It also helps us to make sure that we are putting the correct amount of something into, let's say, a recipe, or into a cup, or into a pot, or into maybe a machine that requires liquid. So liquid volume and capacity are great ways that we can use standard units to measure something accurately. Have any of you ever cooked with your mom or dad and they've been like, oh, just put like a little pinch of salt, or just put a little bit of oil into the pan? Have your parents ever done that? My mom is notorious, and I hope she watches this, notorious for doing that. She'll send me a recipe and say, put a handful of this and a little bit of that and a little pinch of this and a good a lot of that. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Our measurements could be totally different. But if my mom would use a standard unit to measure her great and amazing cooking, then she could easily share her recipes with her very terrible cook daughter, me. Today we're gonna to practice that, so someday you can share your recipes accurately. Thank you guys so much for watching our math lesson on capacity. We had a great day without a dog.